Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a video on how to fix error code 4 or 5 on a TTDS or a DSTT card or an R4 card. So, if you've just gotten your TTDS or you've gotten it a while ago and you were too lazy to fix this problem, you may notice if you turn it on, bear with me here, hold the camera. If you, when it happens, when you turn it on, oh shit, um, and you try and run modern games or more recent games like Pokemon Black, um, I believe, um, Squeak Squad actually, or no, not S Kirby, um, Mass Attack didn't work, Pokemon Black 2, uh, they don't work because they're, they're optimized for newer, the DSi or something, and so the, the DSTT with the normal DSTT kernel can't run it. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your computer. Okay, and once you're on your computer, you're going to right click, you're going to right click your removable disk or whatever it is, SD card, you're going to click format, leave all the things default and hit start. I've already I've already done it so I'll need to do it. And your removal disk should be totally empty. Remember before you do that, back up all your stuff to another drive. I have this old Lexar drive right over here and I just put all my stuff on there including the save files. Don't don't drag the old kernel files on. You don't want that old kernel. Then you're going to download, click on the link, download the new kernel in the link. It'll be DST YS menu version 7. So you'll get this WinRAR archive. Open it up. Um, open up the DS menu and copy in TT menu, YS menu dot NDS and TT menu dot dat. Don't and copy the text. So you're gonna take those and you're gonna drag those into removable disk E. And it's gonna drag those in. And then that's basically all the hard steps. You're gonna take your normal things and you're gonna drag them back into here and so that's gonna do I'll get back to you when when that's done loading okay guys so once everything is into your um, micro SD TT menu TT menu dot dat and YS menu dot NDS and all your files and save files I have like 15 16 games you're gonna eject lay removable desk Obviously, it'll work with yours. Mine's like, oh, it's in use. And then, once it's in your TTDS and your TTDS is in your NDS, turn on your NDS. It'll load up the system. It'll look like this. And uh, now you'll be able to go down to um, Pokemon Black version 2. Normally, you wouldn't be able to run this. Hit A, select it, and... There it is, Pokemon Black version 2, and any new modern games. This is obviously the one you're going to want to play the most, but any games I think came out past, if they came out past 2010, I think you won't be able to run it on the normal kernel. So you're going to need to get kernel in the description, download it, all the steps, put it on your thing, and you'll be good.